Now, why do you think these kind of questions are asked in FANG interviews, even when you know that you do not need to form any logic in this? You either know how to determine a table based on line segments or you don't. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the SQL 50 Crack SQL interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands on SQL using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of SQL. So, we are done with the select part, basic joins basic aggregate functions as well as the sorting and grouping part we are currently working on advanced select and joins then we'll be moving to subqueries and finally ending with advanced string functions regex and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called triangle judgment and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 32nd video of this series called triangle judgment and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so amazon and apple kind of an important question let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called triangle with three different columns column x y and z and their data types being integer for all in sql the combined columns x y and z is the primary key column for this table each row of this table contains the length of three line segments okay we are asked to write a query to report for every three line segments whether they can form a triangle or not order of the result does not matter okay let's look at this example so here we have two different rows and we have x y and z values for them and then based on these values basically based on these three line segments we need to find out whether these three line segments can form a triangle or not when we are given three line segments how can we check whether these will form a triangle or not the way to do it is the sum of the two sides should always be greater than the third side so what it means is x plus y should be greater than z y plus z should be greater than x and x plus z should be greater than y if all these three conditions satisfy then only those line segments can form a triangle so for example if we do that so x plus y is 28 which is less than 30 right so we're not satisfying our very first condition so these three cannot make a triangle so this will be no 10 plus 20 30 is greater than 15 okay 20 plus 15 that is 35 is greater than 10 okay and then 10 plus 15 is 25 is greater than 20 so all these three can make a triangle so no for this and yes for this and that is what we have in our output now why do you think these kind of questions are asked in fang interviews even when you know that you do not need to form any logic in this you either know how to determine a table based on line segments or you don't the reason is that it checks whether you know that sql is not just for data querying and manipulation you can also perform certain mathematical functions in that you can do square root you can do power you can do absolute values etc so let's do that so from this table called triangle we need all the three columns in our output so we can just simply go ahead and write select star and then we need a fourth column called triangle based on whether they can form a triangle or not so we can use the if function that we learned earlier in this series where we need to check one condition and if that is true then you return a certain value if not you return another value so now here we need to check three conditions one after the other that is x plus y should be greater than z and y plus z should be greater than x and x plus z should be greater than y if all these conditions are true then they can form a triangle so you return yes if any of them fails then you return no and this should be aliased as triangle so if i do as triangle okay i think this looks good let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was use the if function that we learned and we already have to know how to check whether three line segments can form a triangle or not now let me know if this question would have asked whether they these line segments can form a right angle triangle or not how would you do that what are the conditions basically you will have to use a pythagoras theorem if the sum of the squares of two line segments is equal to the square of the third line segment then you can form a right angle triangle so you can use a power function in that case so you see you can perform various mathematical functions in sql as well so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video